Yeah, you keep the article and you're going to submit as a group. One person will submit your interest. Okay, okay with everybody's name on it. Now you can erase that or go to a new page on the on the board. Can I just draw it from the board? Yeah, you can draw erase the board and you can draw on the board. Yeah. So there's lots of different ways to Okay. To make a new page? There should be an arrow that shows no, I think we'll just use the okay. board. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he'll he'll film you on the board. Hey, hi. Uh, so we are going to talk about the charging at steady state. Do you want to put your article in the underneath the camera okay. so that people can see it at home so they know if they go back and rewatch the video later on? Okay, perfect. <coughs> Thank you. That's helpful. All right, so, uh, so we, we will be talking about the charging at steady state in EPMA, SEM, and ESEM by uh, Gazo, I think. So basically, here, uh, the, the article is basically about how the charging builds up in the, uh, in the different samples when you use these different techniques. And uh, so basically, we look at, it, look at this from the electronic transitions point of view. So in case, uh, for the first case of EPMA, which is electron probe microanalysis, uh, so basically what happens here is, uh, so uh, basically when you have a surface, so you, you have a surface, and then when you, when you hit your sample with an electron, a, a, and it causes a, some, some of the electrons come out as secondary electrons and the, because of these electrons and then in EPMA uh, the samples uh, have a conductive layer on top which is basically used to uh, remove all these extra excess charges that is building up. So the secondary electrons then move up and like te at, when, at very beginning when the conductor is just being irradiated it starts to build up a charge uh, close to the uh, close to the uh, conductive layer and the substrate interface, and uh, depend. Uh, so these uh, so therefore because the uh, this these secondary electrons, some of them will tend to escape into this conductive layer, and depending on the rate of your uh, uh, in incident radiation and the rate of your uh, electron escaping into the conductive layer, there can be a charge buildup, uh, and this charge buildup basically has its own field that that is generated. And uh, if this field exceeds a, a certain a critical field, which is uh, given in the paper by F C, uh, this basically leads to uh, uh, a kind of screening effect on the incoming uh, uh, electrons from the pri uh, from the ion beam electron beam and uh, and, and uh, so therefore then they talk about how we can understand like so this this is at time t is equal to 0 however like uh, as as you keep uh, hitting the sample with the uh, with this electron beam the the sample then like is able to uh, accommodate for this charging and then after a certain time uh, they, they talk about it achieving a steady state and this steady state can be calculated by a uh, dimensional poison equation and they have uh, equations for it as well so so this uh, so they then they say that uh, after a certain time uh, the 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 the, char the charge depending on the charge so, so that then they they basically show the uh, the field that is then fi finally created at steady state by calculating this using that equation, and uh, and uh, so basically they say that uh, so if a, so if the charging buildup is higher than the critical field strength. Uh, it, it screens and therefore you cannot uh, properly uh, image your surface or things like that. 
So then, uh, you want to talk about SEM? Or yeah. yeah, go ahead, put stuff uh, different places. So uh, for the SEM, it's a little different. So for EPMA, you had a conductive layer, but for an SEM, I can, I can show it over there, actually. Yeah. Uh, for an SEM, it's different because you don't have a conductive layer. And what happens is you, your, your electrons, your primary electrons, per penetrate the sample in the beginning at time equal to zero. So if electrons penetrate and some of the, so it builds up a negative charge because there's negative charge, positive charges move to the surface. And because of that, your primary electrons slow down uh, because of that positive charge. And uh, basically, it slows down uh, the, uh, the electrons, and that's why you cannot image well at that point. Uh, and uh, after that, the time passes, and the charge basically, uh, what happens is, <coughs> so these these electrons go there. These these uh, you know these two positive charges start to build up at the surface, and then uh, they basically, after some point, they stop building up over there, uh, because uh, you kind of achieved a steady state, I guess uh, you know. The electric field is no, can, can no longer increase, and uh, it builds, it, it, it basically stabilizes, and then you have, <coughs> you just have the, uh, uh, you know, positive charges at the surface, and then, you know, it's negative charges uh, move deep into the bulk, basically, of the sample. And um, so basically, you're, you're uh, over there, you, 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 because you are grounded, you, your, your uh, surface, uh, charges could escape, but over here, you, your, your surface is not grounded, so your surface charges cannot escape, and then you cannot image well. And I guess that's a CM. Yes, CM. I think my team is explaining enough, and for the yes, uh, for the ESM, the mainly difference is here. Um, because the Wacom is not so perfect, so we just use some some iron, uh, some air in it, and the air with electron, and it, it causes uh, it causes some ions with some a uh, positive positive charge, and this will cause uh, a thin layer of uh, a positive charge on the surface of the of the sample and. Other things are the same as uh, SEM, and we also have the charge just around the sample, just around deeper in the sample, and a negative charge here, and then a new new rearrangement or distribution of the electron will happen afterwards, and and then and we can uh, we can mirror or uh, magnify uh, as 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 principle. SEM and, and EPMA explain. So you're saying that they apply a positive bias to the surface? No. Uh, so in ESEM, what happens is uh, because uh, because they, they have a variable pressure inside the chamber, so they typically use gas for that. And uh, when when you're uh, bombarding the, uh, the sample with your electron beam, it leads to uh, ionization of this gas. And uh, because there's uh, like uh, so the overall charge in your sample is negative. So because of that, the positive ions from the gas tend to like uh, get absorbed on your surface, and that's what leads to the 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 field in this area. So this is on the, uh, the uh, out. So this is the surface la layer, and this is above the surface, and this below the surface is basically because of the escaping secondary electrons, and this is due the the bulk is due to the accumulation of charges in the uh, the bulk of the sample. So, so. You, s you sort of have fizzy sorbed ions. Yeah, yeah, because the they are absorbed on the surface so more. So basically from this uh, paper, uh, what is new that we learned is that for the different uh, kind of, so this is all basically SEM, but for different modes like EPMA, uh, for uh, SEM or ESEM, the, the charge buildup is, the, the type of charge buildup is, uh, different in all the cases and also by knowing the depth of your critical field strength you will be uh, so so you can uh, understand that for 
for uh, good for obtaining good images using uh, SEM, for instance. Uh, so if the charge buildup is up to this rate, uh, the R, so you you can only expect to get good results uh, beyond this R. And like if you if so if you're trying to get a surface topology using a voltage which is you know having a charge buildup to R, you cannot expect to uh, image the surface topology. So so using that we can understand. Uh, what what mode is correct for our our sample analysis and what kind of analysis we we are trying to do? So that is what is a take home message from this paper. Yeah. Anything you want to add? Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so you but you wrote that on the board. Tell me why you wrote all that on the board. Uh, because for the graph, uh, there will be the. Uh, Theta in here, uh -huh. and uh, the theta means the means the definition on the book is about tell, tells us the ratio about secondary electron, and uh, uh, once for EPMA, SEM, and uh, e ESEM, they are the detector of secondary electron. So we choose this parameter to uh, to test our electron. So secondary electron coefficient is basically the number of secondary electrons that get them. So it's basically you can think of it like the efficiency of your beam. Uh, so 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 this is the total number of uh, uh, beam electrons that are hitting your sample, and this is your number of secondary electrons that are generated by your uh, by your ion ion beam. So so basically this ratio tells us the. Uh, the um, the the ratio of uh, secondary electrons that are being generated. So, so not all of your uh, electrons that are hitting the sample will lead to secondary emission. So that's that's basically what you're trying to you know uh, give a number to using this secondary electron coefficient. Okay, I think I think our paper kind of uses it inefficiently because they're correlating it against time, and after about 30 milliseconds, <coughs> everything is plateaued anyway. Yeah. So you you're looking at it like before it hits that steady state yeah. region. Yeah. So at a steady state, you're going to get this sort of constant ratio. But initially, the ratio may be different because you haven't built up bulk charging yet, right? So you you're you're so you're going to have different effects. So how they you know it means the same thing. Oh yeah. So but how it looks after a minute or two is different than how it looks when the beam first hits the sample yeah, because so it's got a different dynamic. You haven't built up any charges in the bulk yet. So yeah, in this, so, so, so that's what at t equal to zero, there's yeah. this, this so build up. So that's sort of the picture you guys have So this as well. this build up. So this right. is like screening your uh, electrons. As, so, that, right. so it might be like lower at the beginning and then maybe increase as it. Yeah, it is lower. And this, this article has it lower, but it, it actually only shows it for one of the samples. Yeah. It's a very disjointed. Figure. Yeah, I think, I think yeah, in the, in the book the, it's the explanation is kind of better for this. So. Okay, any other questions for audience? Can you have a question? No, I was playing with my Okay. All right. Then stay for group. Oh, you guys gotta pick the next group. Darcy. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so we know who's last. <laughs> Yeah, and again, if you guys want to, if you didn't invest in the book and you want to come borrow the book, you're welcome to come to my office and sit around and get the book. Oh, yours is right now. Oh, I think right on my fingers. Yeah, they have, they have like an online version too. You're going to write in the board. Yeah, you're going to write in the board. Oh, this is a big team. This is the power team. <laughs>